Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. Thank you guys for being here today on the weekend, on Monday, whenever you guys are watching this. Listen up, guys. If you're new to this channel, new to trading, you're struggling with trading, what we do here is about to change the way that you guys trade in the stock market. Okay, but the first thing I need you guys to do, go down, click that subscribe button, but the more important part is click that bell. That bell gives you the notifications for when I send out videos just like this one every single day. And I send them out for free, okay? So this is our one week swing list for August 1st. I send these videos out every week. I send out daily watch lists every day. I send out top five watch lists every day, monthly swings every month. I have 300 plus videos for you guys to become better traders, to learn to trade consistently and to learn to trade profitably. Okay, stay tuned to the end of this video. I will give you my top five picks for next week for the weekly swings, okay? My top five, my personal top five, what I would be looking at more closely than everything else. You can also find me on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. So again, if you guys have questions about anything, make sure you're DMing me there. Don't worry about if you think it's a silly or dumb question, ask away, I will answer it. You can tweet at me, you can put your questions in the comment section below. I will get back to you, make sure you're giving me a thumbs up and let's roll into a couple other things here before we get into the meat and potatoes of this watch list. Number one, the platform that we use here is called TradingView. If you guys are looking for a platform like this, I have a deal for you. Go down, click on the link in the description below, the TradingView link. It will give you a free 30-day trial for TradingView if you've never used it before. And then if you decide to use TradingView from that point forward, it will give you up to $30 off on your subscription, okay? So click that link, get yourself a deal. Number two, the ads that pop up here, guys. I know they suck. They're annoying. They're the worst part of anything that you're doing here. But those ads pay for this stuff to be free for you guys, okay? So the one thing I ask in return for doing this stuff for you guys is to let those ads roll through, okay? I know they suck. Go get a drink, go get a snack, come back, and we'll run through this stuff. Uh, but those ads keep your money in your pocket realistically because it keeps me from making all of this material something that you guys would have to pay for, and I don't want to have to do that, okay? I want to keep this as free as I can for everybody out there. Uh, number three, I did create an indicator. It's called the Griswold Strat for TradingView. You cannot find it on the indicator tab. It is private. You can go down below into the description, click on the link. It's a one-time $25 fee. It gives you the indicator. I have a video on it. Go search that out. It tells you everything that's in the indicator, including this time frame continuity here, the candlestick numbers, paints the inside bars yellow with these IB tabs, paints the outside bars white with the OB tabs, gives you blue highlights for double inside bars, yellow highlights for the 3-1 setups, okay? It also has Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule indicators inside of it. It's a one-stop shop for you guys to help you trade more effectively, okay? So that is in the link in the description below. You can also find it on my Twitter profile page in the link there. Okay, let's get started on this list, guys. The first one we're gonna go through is Adobe. So Adobe's got a hammer candle and an inside bar. Again, if you're new to this channel, I'm gonna to explain to you what an inside bar because my longtime followers already know what the inside bars do, what they're capable of and what they are. Okay, so this is a hammer candle. We have this big body here with a big long wick at the end. Looks like a hammer. I like to call it a Thor hammer. So that's number one. We have a hammer candle, which it's a bullish pattern. Number two, we have an inside bar. Okay, inside bars, guys, or one bars. You can see the candle number there. Inside bars do not break the high, they do not break the low of the previous candle. They stay within the range of the previous candle. It's a tightening range, a consolidating range. And when you see, if you have the indicator, when you see these yellow bars, think of a spring becoming loaded and tightening or a jack in the box. And when that thing pops and releases, we get a big, big run for a high probability play. Just like you see off of this inside bar, we had this big, big run up, okay? This inside bar, we triggered and we hit targets, okay? This inside bar, uh, gap down. So you would have had to play the gap on that. There's another inside bar with an outside bar. But again, we opened up here, we triggered, and we had really, really good profits. Same thing here. 
triggered really good profits okay so a high probability plays and if you're new to trading or you're struggling with your trading or you're struggling with the strat or you're new to the strat I always suggest to look for those inside bars because they're e the easiest to spot um, and when we're looking at time frame continuity I like to see the hourly and the day in the same range so whichever way we break because Monday August 1st is a new day it's a new week and it is also a new month we have to wait for these to open up really to see which direction they're going to head okay so if this trends up we are trading with time frame continuity the other thing i like about this play guys we have this weekly trigger okay at 410 dollars 12 cents if it's me and i'm buying options on this i get two weeks out on my weekly swings okay two weeks out two week expiry and the strike price at 410, I'm probably looking at my first target. I'm probably going to take a 411 strike price on this is probably what I'm looking at or closest to that, okay? That's how I would play Adobe um, and the inside bar, okay? Next up, we've got American Airlines, AAL, which is a two down that finished green. So again, a two down only breaks to the downside of the previous candle, which is exactly what we have. Here was the, the trigger for the downside. We broke it, and then we came back up. So when we're a two down, and realistically, this color doesn't matter, but when it's a two down and it's a green, it gives us more probability that it's going to go up rather than if it was a red. Doesn't mean it won't if it's a red. Higher probability if it's a green, okay? So again, we have this two down that finished green. The day is an inside bar on this one, okay? I know that because the two yellow lines, that's how I set up my triggers on the daily. And this time frame continuity indicator with this yellow circle, the yellow circle tells me it's an inside bar, okay? Also tells me we're inside on the month. Okay, so on this weekly, we are looking for a two down, two up reversal. So the next candle we're looking for, I'm just going to give you guys a quick little example. I saw uh, CyberDog do this, and I'll tell you, show you exactly uh, what we are looking for, if I can find it. Where are these things? That's the fibs. And it's going to be a little bit off. But basically what we're looking for is something like that. Okay? So imagine this is your new candle. Imagine this is the new candle opening up on, on Monday. Okay? This is what we're looking for. <coughs> Excuse me. We're looking for it to trigger here. Okay, trigger that pink line. And again, if we trigger the daily, we are going to trigger the weekly. It's almost inevitable. No, it doesn't have to happen, but it's more most likely that it will. So this is the candle that we're looking for on Monday is to break up similar to what we see there. Okay, and I just drew it there to give you guys an idea of what that would look like. So two down, two up is what we're looking for with calls at 13, sorry, 14.04 at this point pink line trigger, okay? AFRM is next. AFRM, we can call that a hammer candle. It's a two down green hammer candle. We are going to look for triggers at 27.62 and our first target at the top of this big long wick here at $30.91 on the swing play for AFRM. BIDU, and again, like I said, guys, stay tuned to the end. I will give you guys a top five watch list. They're not in the original ones, okay? They're not within this range here. They're all at the top. I will get through them at the end of the video. Make sure you're sticking around. Okay, next up we've got BIDU. Um, BIDU. This is, okay, so I was following some guy on Twitter, and he said he was looking at these 1-2-2 two, two reversals. Basically, we have an inside bar, a 1, 2 down, and a 2 up. It's called a 1-2-2 two, two rev strat. He said they were working magic for him. I want to start looking at those more closely just to see how they're working. So I've got a bunch on the day setups. I've got a bunch on the week setups. I want to see how they work. So we have a one, two down, two up. And like I said, this candle doesn't matter. I don't care if it's red or green. I care that we're getting a reversal back to the upside, two down, two up. We are on a broadening formation here. I'm guessing that's drawn on the daily. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to it here. But... I'm looking for this to trend back to the upside, okay? So if we trigger at 144.60, 
we can look for targets at basically 147 okay here and then the top of this next wick here okay so 122 rev strat calls at 14460 <coughs> excuse me guys pltr palantir inside bar hammer candle a little iffy on this one just because we are at this if you look at this broadening formation we've got higher highs lower lows higher highs lower lows higher highs Inevitably, this is telling me that PLTR is going to hop back down to this 850 range, but we very well may just continue to run up. I don't know. That's why we wait for the triggers, okay? So 1035 calls, 938 puts. First target here at the top, first target to the bottom down here. It's very, very simple, easy. I always tell you guys, the candlesticks tell you exactly what to do. They tell you when to enter the trade right here. They tell you when to exit the trade right here. And guys, what I like to do, this is me personally, I like to wait for these to trigger. I'll hop down onto a five minute time frame and I'll trade from there and I'll look for a reversal or I'll look for targets, et cetera, et cetera, okay? That's just me. Other people like to use the 15. Maybe you just want to stay on the day. Maybe you want to go to the 30. It's whatever you guys like and whatever suits you best. I like hopping down to the five. Peloton, P-T-O-N. Inside bar, hammer candle, calls at 986, puts at 856. We'll see how this one ends up running out next week. SE is C limited. Inside bar, we can call that a hammer, hammer candle again. And again, if we look at the last double inside bar we had here, inside bar doesn't matter. Triggered, target, target, good play. Now, if we go back even a little further to find the last single inside bar on SE, we'll do this quickly. There's another double inside bar that went outside bar. Here's the last inside bar, okay? Triggered, and we had a nice little run. Inside bar, triggered, nice run. Inside bar, trigger, nice run. Okay, here off of this inside bar, we triggered, or we opened, we triggered, hit targets, and reversed back to an outside bar. Okay, so high probable plays, highly profitable plays. And again, you don't have to do what I do, okay? Um, but this is what works for me, and I'm hoping it works for you guys too. It's what I do. It's how I play the stock market. Um, I love the inside bars, and I, I always will. Okay, so that's inside bar on C Limited. Call 7865, put 7128. We are also monthly on inside bar on the monthly. I know that for two reasons. One, I have a, a yellow circle around my monthly uh, uh, time frame continuity indicator. And I've got these two blue lines, which what is what I use for my triggers on my monthly on all my charts. So it's just, it's common knowledge to me, okay? So we can look for triggers in either direction on SE. We've kind of been chopping around here for quite some time. Space is up next, SPCE. Space has a two down, finish green, hammer candle. I'm going to look for calls on this one at $7.46. First target right there, top of the wick. Okay, square is up next, SQ. SQ has a inside bar with a hammer candle. Calls at $76.06, puts at $65.90. Again, we have a inside bar on the monthly as well. But the thing with square or block is if we trigger this weekly, we are most definitely likely to trigger this monthly, okay? So we hop over to the monthly, and there it is, inside bar on the monthly. We are looking for a 212 reversal on the month and a 212 continuation on the week. Let's head over to Uber. Uber's got earnings this week. I think Square actually did too. Uber's got earnings this week. We've got current inside bar on the week with a hammer candle. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, calls at 23.54. Our first target is the trigger for the monthly. Puts at 22.14. Our third, well, not even third target. Our second target and a little bit more is a trigger for the downside on the monthly, which is also an inside bar. We'll head over to Walmart. Walmart with, I don't even know if you want to call that a hammer candle. We have this little, little body with this big, huge wick here. Okay, that's what you call a pivot machine gun, guys. PMG. 
the lower low, lower, or sorry, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. But boom, takes them all out. One, two, three, and almost four. Okay, pivot machine gun, PMG. You don't see them very often, but there is one on the weekly. Took everything out. Okay, so I'm going to look for a reversal back to the upside on this one. We can look for uh, calls at 132.70. Our first trigger is 133.38 on Walmart. This one will be interesting to see how this one plays out. Arc G, Kathy Woods ETF, inside bar. Okay, so we can take calls at 37.96, puts at 35.81 off of Arc G. I'm not sure how the premiums or the spread between the bid and the ask are on those. You might want to check them out. These last few guys, I had them on the daily. If you were looking to swing trade something that is not a, a higher end stock, it's a lower dollar value stock, we can look at Tattooed Chef. Okay, so Tattooed Chef has a inside bar on the daily. This is our trigger on the inside bar on the daily. I'm only giving you to the upside. If this goes down, I don't want you to play it because you're at, now you're shorting stocks. So again, if we trigger on the day, which is what I'd be watching first, our first target is here, okay? Then we can look at triggering on the week off of this inside bar, okay? So our trigger for the week would be 677, first target at 690, that's on Tattooed Chef. NNDM, guys, another one, low, low cost uh, stock. We've got a 3-1 setup, okay? Uh, outside bar, which is a three bar, breaks both the high and the low of the previous candle. And then an inside bar with a hammer candle. It is red, but it is a hammer candle. So we can look for uh, buying opportunities at $3.35 on both the daily. I just want to hop down to the daily here because it's not marked out on my stuff. Uh, yes, there we go. Let's mark that out on the daily. So... Basically, the daily and the weekly have the exact same trigger. So if you want to try and ride this a little longer, look, let's hop down to the daily and let's put in our targets. Okay, that's your first target there, essentially. Second target at 346. Now, if we go to the weekly, that's your first target on the daily. This up here is your first target on the weekly. So if you want to swing this long on NNDM, you can look for possible $3.00 and 54 cents i would like to be able to make sure we're trading with time frame continuity on the hourly the daily the weekly the monthly is already green and so is the quarterly so they are kind of in our favor already but we'll see how this stuff all opens up okay so this is a possible uh play that we could take to the upside with common shares okay that is the main watch list guys let's move into the top five i told you it was coming the time is now Okay, CRM, inside bar, hammer candle, calls at 184.42, puts at 169.76. Again, this is one of those ones I'm a little iffy on because we've got this, this BF, this broadening formation here that we've been trading in. And we've got a lower low to a higher high, back to this lower low, back up to a higher high. So we are either breaking through this thing or we are coming back down. We'll see what happens off of this inside bar hammer candle thor hammer with calls at 184.42 puts at 169.77 the day i have already got it marked out here we are looking for a two down on the day with a trigger at 180.16 and first and second targets marked out here so crm is interesting DraftKings, DraftKings is also very interesting because we have this first of all we have this broadening formation okay Lower lows, higher highs, lower lows, higher highs. Where are we going from here? Okay, we've got a two down that finished green. We can look for calls at 1401. We've got triggers on the monthly up here, triggers on the weekly right here, triggers on the daily here on DraftKings. So if we go into DraftKings, I think it's an inside. DraftKings is an inside bar. So this is why it's very interesting because we have that inside bar on the daily. If we trigger to the upside and hit targets, our weekly is going to trigger. Okay, that's what we're looking for, this weekly to trigger. If we hit first targets on the weekly, we've just hit 
first triggers or our trigger for the monthly to break out of that inside bar on the month. So interesting play on DraftKings as well. <coughs> Lyft is... How am I doing for time here? We're good. Uh, Lyft is also very similar um, based on what we have on multiple time frames. So Lyft right now, again, we have that Thor hammer candle. Okay, that two down, that finish green, this big body with a big long wick. We have that hammer candle. It's an actionable, uh, I believe uh, Jermaine Cyberdog calls this a Momo hammer. Okay, so we're looking for this to actually go into force off of this on a two down, two up reversal. Now, on the daily for lift, we've got an inside bar with a hammer candle. Okay, so if that triggers, that means our weekly triggers. Okay, if our weekly triggers and hits first targets, that means our monthly triggers. And our monthly has a two down, two up reversal is what we're looking for. Okay, so all of these things play out together. It's a domino effect. The day triggers the week, will trigger the month, and we could be all green on lift next month. But we'll see, we have to wait for it to open up and see what happens. Okay, so that's setup number three. These are in no particular order, guys. They're just one through five. They are what they are. MU Micron Technologies. We'll hop back to the weekly here. So MU on the day has a double inside bar, okay? So we're looking for a break of that. Now, here's the thing. If we break to the upside on that double inside bar and hit first targets, our next area here is the trigger for the weekly to go two up, two down, two up, okay? And if we trigger two up on the week, our first target is our trigger to go two up on the month. So again, we run into that domino effect where we've got this three, two down, two up reversal that we're looking for on MU. So the day, again, the day can trigger the week, which can trigger the month. And again, we would be showing all green to the upside on MU. And the last one we're gonna go through here, guys, of the top five is IBM has this tight, tight, tiny little inside bar Okay, we can take calls at 131, puts at 127, 58 on this little, little tiny inch. Look at how little that is. And it's the problem we might run into now here is if this becomes this mother bar here that we talk about, this big, big, long bar, and we may just get stuck trading. And you can see what happened off of this. We had the same thing happen here off of this big bar here. Okay, right here. Inside, 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 inside. And it wasn't till right here where we actually had this nice little breakout to the top of the broadening formation and then came back down. <coughs> but we were stuck trading within that, in that bar right there. Not, not to say that there weren't real great gains, but this inside bar didn't produce much. Then we ran into an outside bar. Then we ran into another outside bar. Then we ran into this inside bar. So there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of action on IBM within this, you know, one, one, two, three, four, five week range until we broke out here. So I'm wondering if we get the same thing that happens. Big mother bar and inside bar. Big mother bar, inside bar. So this will be curious. I'll be curious to see how this plays out if we do get a run to either side in either direction. Now we could look at this broadening formation, broadening formation. Are we trending back down? to hit into this 119, 118 area. We will see. Guys, that's the that's the watch list. That's the top five list that I saved for the end. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Subscribe down below. Click that bell. Make sure you're grabbing that indicator to help you guys out. Trading view link down below. I've got a Discord coming out real soon. It's like 95% free for you guys. Just a place for us all to hang out and discuss the strat. There are some Griswold Gold membership perks in there. There's a live trading room. Um, bots to alert us on different setups on different tickers okay so make sure you're watching for that and other than that guys good luck trading this week good luck trading monday i hope you guys are green as always and we will see you on the next one Bye bye